take four to five clean glass slides. As we are going to prepare multiple smears simultaneously. From this slide, choose one slide as the spreader. The spreader slide must have smooth edge. Which finger you are going to prick? Only prick middle finger or ring finger in its distal part as you are seeing in the photograph. Why? Because palmar fascia of thumb, index finger and little finger extend to the forearm. If we prick these fingers and infection occur, there are chances that it might spread to the forearm. Apply spirit swab over the pricking area. And we have to wait till the spirit has been dry. Why we have to wait till the spirit has been dry? If we prick before the spirit has been dry, the blood which coming out from the pricking area get mixed with the spirit and it gets hemolyzed. So we need to wait till the spirit has been dry. Take a lancet and prick distal part of the finger. Only single prick. Avoid multiple pricking. Put a blood drop over a glass light as you are seeing in the figure. Put a spreader slide just in front of the blood drop and maintain an angle of 45 degree between the two slides. Move the spreader slide backward just to touch the blood and wait for a few seconds. so that the blood will evenly distribute to the whole edge of the spreader slide. Move the spreader slide towards another end to make a smear. After that, let smear to dry. Now which are the criteria for ideal blood smear? It should be tongue shape. It should cover almost entire length of the slide. Neither too thin nor too thick. Thickness should be single cell layer or uniform in thickness. No any air gaps or cross triations. So these are the criteria of ideal blood smear. Once the smear has been dry, add 8 to 12 drops of Lisman stain. While you are adding the Lisman stain, count the number of drops. Now here is the composition and functions of Lisman stain. It contains methylene blue, eosin and acetone free methyl alcohol. Methylene blue is a basic dye stains acidic part of the cell, nuclei, cytoplasm of WBC and granules of basophils. Eosin is an acidic dye, stains basic part of the cell, eosinophilic granules. Acetone free methyl alcohol which fixes the smear to the slides. Here we are using acetone free methyl alcohol. Now the question is why the methyl alcohol should be acetone free? Because acetone causes lysis of the cell. Wait for one and a half to two minutes. During this time never allow smear to dry. 
this time is known as fixation time because during this time blood smear fixes to the glass slide after 1 and 1/2 to 2 minutes add equal number of buffer water or double number of distilled water after adding of the distilled water or buffer water we need to wait for 8 to 10 minutes but during this time never allow smear to dry this time is known as staining time because during this time blood cells get stained after 8 to 10 minutes pour up the stain hold the slide in slanting position as you are seeing in the figure and wash under tap water till slide gives pinkish tinge hold a slide in such a way that water stream first touches hand and later it flows through the slide clean back side of a slide and put it in a upright position to dry after a stain smear is dry put it on a mechanical stage of a light microscope add one drop of cedar wood oil or liquid paraffin and focus under 100x oil immersion lens here we are using cedar wood oil why it prevents refraction of light rays as refractive index of cedar wood oil and glass slide is same around 1.5 Now you are seeing a view of stain smear with 100x oil immersion lens. As you are seeing in the figure, you need to focus over the monolayer area.